Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusti, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. And today we will continue where last time we uh, left off. We have built some amazing big gray blocks. And they are a bit void of, uh, of uh, details. So we have some shulker boxes here with various blocks that we can use. And I would assume uh, some of the blocks I don't have enough of. And then over here we have also various kind of leaves uh, because the goal here is uh, to make these buildings look really um, depilated and desolate, uh, left over and overgrown. But first uh, we need to add a bit more details, a bit more color into the builds uh, before we then leave things up and uh, probably not only use leaves but also a bit of moss, a bit of dirt so uh, to get that uh, grungy uh, look in place. I started with adding some more details to the roof like vents, air shafts and at the same time uh, also making sure that everything remains spawn proof. And then on the side wall we basically have balconies in two different varieties. Uh, I also removed some of the trap doors to make it more depilated. Uh, we added some uh, ACs, uh, air conditioning units on the side as well as some bigger rents where we had enough space on the walls. And then to break things up a bit uh, texture wise I added some furnaces in the wall especially on these uh, outshoots uh, that should probably look a bit more reinforced otherwise they would already have crumbled down. Usually these buildings also have fire escapes so they were added as well. We have two variants. Uh, one with a cage around them. Unfortunately, this takes quite a bit of space. So uh, usually it's it's just uh, the smaller variant. And then we have also these offshoots with, uh, with grindstone. Not really sure what it represents, but uh, I thought it's looking cool. We have gutters made of chains and then also uh, uh, some hooks uh, going all the way up and down the walls. As you can see the buildings are also now all leafed up and I used four different types of leaf starting at the bottom with spruce uh, then transitioning to uh, birch oak and finally uh, azalea and uh, the reason for this is going from the darker leaf tones to the lighter leaf tones because up on the building there's more light so uh, that should become obvious also through the leaves and especially uh, between the buildings there are uh, a bit of the darker tones and I think about halfway through I noticed okay it would actually be a good idea to have uh, the leaves that are on the other leaves to be in a darker tone so here and there I managed to also incorporate that idea. I think this turned out magnificent. It was quite a bit of uh, work to get together, but I think the end result is all worth it. What do you think? 
Leave the command down in the section uh, designated for it and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, goodbye!